Hi, my name is Bill Burns. I'm one of the FSRs providing HVAC technical support here at Wolf Brothers Supply. These short video tech tips are based on questions from you, the technicians in the field. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future updates and tips. So here we have two different options modules. On the left, you will see the fresh air options module. And on the right is the indoor options module. Do they look similar? That's because they are physically the same board. The only difference is how they are addressed and communicate back to the UC700. This is the fresh air options module. You're going to find this located in the compartment next to the economizer. It controls options like the economizer, the power exhaust, the clog filter switch. Uh, this board needs to be addressed to 76. Next is the indoor options module. This module is located in the compartment above the burner compartment. This controls options such as electric heaters, condensate overflow switch, and if you have hot gas reheat. This board needs to be addressed to 75. The stepper motor module is located in the main controls compartment which is positioned in the upper left of the UC700 control board. This controls modulating reheat valve and the pump out solenoid. This board needs to be addressed to 79. Here we have the customer connections module. This module is located in the main controls compartment just to the left of the UC700 control. It's going to control options like the humidistat, the ventilation override, and the remote minimum position. This module must be addressed to 78. So setting the address on the Symbio options modules is pretty simple, uh, but there are a couple things to look out for. Um, the boards aren't always mounted in the upright normal position, I, I guess you could say. Sometimes they're mounted uh, horizontally or vertically. Uh, sometimes they're turned upside down. Um, but as you look in the photo, um, you see the two switches there, the two dials and the zeros are positioned at the top. Um, if you squint really hard at the side, uh, the one on the left, you'll see it says uh, SW1 and SW2 for the one on the right. Uh, but as long as the zeros are on the, positioned on the top when you set it, um, you're in the right position to set your um, address. So, once you set your address, and as you can see in the photo, it's set for 76, um, then you, you have to cycle power to the unit. Uh, once power is restored, the Symbio 700 UC recognizes the address of that board and starts communicating with it. That's going to conclude today's video. We thank you for watching. If you have any problems or any questions, feel free to call Ed Rundle in Medina, Tim Lane in Columbus, Corey Bosworth in Akron, or myself, Bill Burns in Sandusky.